A group, Partnership for Issue-Based Campaigns in Nigeria, PECAN, in collaboration with Legal Awareness for Nigerian Women and Partnership to Engage, Reform and Learn, has organized a one-day agenda-setting dialogue with political candidates and CSOs ahead of the 2023 general elections on the need to tackle insecurity and revive the educational sector in the state. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darafai filed in this report. The convener of the group, Joseph Goje, stated that the aim is for political candidates to interact with CSOs to see to having a conducive atmosphere for the citizens and to foster ways of peaceful campaigns during the elections. Aside poverty is insecurity. Um, the state government's uh, second quarter security report showed that in just this um, two quarters, about 645 people were killed as a result of banditry and other criminalities within the state. And this is more than half of what were the number in 2021. So it means that this is an issue that um, we need to look at. Unemployment and underemployment, 67%. And this is also a huge, huge challenge for especially young people. Speaking, Kaduna Deputy Governorship Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, John Ayuba, promised to ensure job security, especially that of teachers in the state, and also ruled out strategies to ensure the safety of lives and properties of every citizen. Security agenda will be community-based. You see, if you look at the distances be between the points where the current security uh, operatives are and where incidents take place, the distance is too much. It's too, it's too long, and if you look, the roads are not good, so for them to get there, a lot of havoc has already been done. The Labour Party candidate, Honorable Jonathan Asake, on his own part, said that a spate of insecurity in the state has extended to the entire country and promised to make dealing with insecurity his topmost agenda if he emerges the winner of the 2023 election. To cop insecurity is actually first in the agenda of our government. Uh, we will definitely, uh, we are working on ways that we are going to fight insecurity in the state. Uh, because without security, virtually everything comes to a standstill. You can see presently in Kaduna State, um, businesses are folding up. Investors have taken their flight out of the state. And in fact, uh, even out of the country. Redemption Party governorship candidate Hayatu Dean Makarfi stated that the core areas of priority would be social justice, economic skills and education. I have done it this way so that it is easy for us in the course of administering um, some of these uh, uh, areas uh, because first we understand that um, the reason why people feel disgruntled or feel disenfranchised or feel uh, marginalized is as a result of the decay or failure of the social justice system. In attendance at the event were all governorship candidates, people living with disabilities, PWDs, civil society organizations and electorates, among others.